Good morning, I'm TK, and this is the Electro Bart Center's video blog. Good to have you with us, good to see you all again. Welcome. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's get down to business, shall we? So, this week's video blog is a very special video blog. Why? Well, because today is a very special day. Monday, March 20th. What's so special about it? Well, simple. Today, Monday, March 20th, is Mr. Fred Rogers' birthday. How exciting is that? Now, in honor of Mr. Rogers' birthday, I thought I would uh, give you all a little information about Fred Rogers and how he ties into the Latro Bar Center. So, let's start at the very beginning, shall we? Fred Rogers was born March 20th, 1928. He would actually be 88 years old this year. Wow, that's a big one, huh? As a child, he had a great interest in music, which he got from spending time with his grandfather, Fred McFeely. In fact, at the age of five, he started to play the piano. His love for music would transition over to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, where he composed a lot of the music on the show himself. Now, as we all know, he created and hosted Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood from 1968 to 2001. On the show, he did the voices of many of the residents of the neighborhood of Make Believe, such as King Friday, Queen Sarah Saturday, X the Owl, Henrietta Pussycat, Daniel Striped Tiger, Lady Elaine Fairchild, and Larry the Horse. On the show, Mr. Rogers did a lot of good. He first and foremost didn't act differently on TV than he did in person. He was real, which was the message to children, in my opinion, to be yourself no matter what. Of course, his overall goal with the show was to teach children to love themselves and others. Really, he tried to teach children to feel good about themselves and to accept themselves as they are. In fact, I recall he used to end episodes with the line, You make every day a special day. You know how by just being you. Let that sink in for a minute. Now, here's some interesting trivia for you about him. So, you all know he wore the uh, red cardigan and the sneakers. Well, why do he wear the sneakers? He actually began wearing the sneakers because he found them to be quieter when moving around the set. Pretty cool, right? It's safe to say Mr. Rogers was an icon, the creator of an insanely popular children's show, the recipient of four Emmy Awards, Presidential Medal of Freedom, the list goes on from there. What's really cool is that he has local ties. He was actually born in Latrobe, PA, and he has a sister, Lainey Crozier, who lives in Latrobe and is one of the Latrobe Art Center's creators, or founders, if you will. He graduated from the Latrobe High School. There is also a park dedicated to his father in Latrobe, James H. Rogers Park. Latrobe was actually made a historical marker for Fred. In fact, just this past December, a statue of Fred Rogers was installed in the park, created by John Hare. So now let's discuss the Latrobe Art Center and how it relates to Fred. So, the Latrobe Art Center's mission is to create a welcoming environment that encourages and fosters individuals to be creative and develop artistically. Now, that, for lack of a better word, is exactly what Fred wanted to do with his television show. He wanted children to be who they are and be unique. And that's essentially what I believe the Latro Bart Center's mission boils down to is being unique. Being someone who they want to be. Of course, the Latro Bart Center is also known for its creative passion, focus, motivation, and it is a leading force in the community. That sounds just like Fred. He had a lot of creative passion in terms of his TV show, a lot of focus and motivation as well in terms of his work on the show and otherwise. And it's safe to say that he was and continues to be a leading force in his community. So, I just wanted to take a few minutes of personal thought time and give you my personal thoughts on Mr. Rogers and the Latro Bart Center. So I remember when I was younger, and now even still, it's on sometimes on Sundays, watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I think for me, what I got out of it now, what I take away from it is Fred was encouraging of children being who they are and not being different for anyone. He had a very calm demeanor, a very soothing way of speaking, a dulcet tone one might say, and I think that came across as inviting or welcoming and very warm. At La Trobe Art Center, as many of you know, I've had the pleasure of working there for quite a while, and I think it certainly embodies the same principle of acceptance and encouragement Fred always tried to embody in his television show and in real life for that matter. I recall once when I was younger, I can't tell you when, it was so long ago, but I remember meeting Fred Rogers, the Latrobe Country Club. Of course, as you might imagine, 
I was starstruck. But who wouldn't be, right? He could not have been more warm and more encouraging and more nice. Uh, he's certainly a icon of Latro. With that in mind, I say, happy birthday, Fred. All right, well, looking at my watch, it looks like we're about out of time. So please, until next week, take care, be safe, and goodbye, everybody. Have a great week, and I'll see you right back here next week.